love in its deepest sense, compassion, are very prescient for me right now. Love is all that we try to achieve. Love, joy, peace. So first you have to learn to embrace yourself, to love yourself so that you can spread it, you can share it. And then if all of us thought like that, the world would be a beautiful place really. Talk to me and tell the truth Not because I asked But because you wanted to People come and people go Making changes in our soul Now you tell me what I would be Without you we can change the world with love, yes. By loving more, yes. Because that is, God is love. And we are meant to love. But all the time we are battling to love. Because it's a battle we are facing on, on earth. Like, it's, it's human nature to, to feel like you should receive what you give. But love, as I as I grow older and I and I like feel all these feelings of you know pain, love and all that you know, I feel I'm trying to feel like you know, you don't you, you shouldn't expect to receive anything back if it's unconditional love. You know because love is love is sacrifice, man. Maternal love. These are this cannot be compared with any other love because parents a mom will sacrifice herself for the child. Talk to me and tell the truth Not because I asked but because you wanted to People come and people go Making changes in our soul Now you tell me what I would be without Ace, joy, peace, and goodness is spiritual. Last year, I lost my mother, my sister, and one of my closest friends. And when grief is mixed with love, it becomes quite a different thing. So, you become very attuned to the very small things that are around you. So like spending time with my father over Christmas, just talking about when he was a child or looking at maps of where he used to walk with his, his grandfather. All the famous poets and authors have emphasized that pain is in love. Talk to me and tell the truth Not because I asked But because you wanted to People come and people go Making changes in our soul Now you tell me what I would be Without you When people pass away we remember the purity of their being. We, we strive to, rem to try to remember the good things that they had. And we are left with the purity of them. We are left with the good things that they had and that they brought us in the way that they made, the, made us feel. Love is that one thing that keeps us all alive, really. If you, if you don't have love in your life, what is even the purpose of living? You don't, 
I feel like love is a word that people use as something being so focused and big. You know, love can be a simple gesture or like just play manner. You know? like the other day I was in the tube, right? And uh, the tube was pretty packed and I was you know, sitting on the um, uh, priority seat, like elders and uh, disabled people. Yeah. Simple gestures like that. I, I, I got up for an elderly woman and gave her my seat. You know, that's people might say that's not love, but you know, it's, it's a simple gesture like that that can be considered as love. Love was all that we ever wanted, and love was the only thing that actually created memories that we want to keep. You love your grandmother, right? Do you see her now? No. Do you touch her? Do you... But one moment you close your eyes and you can feel her presence. So it's really not physical, is it? No. It's just, it's just a connection that travels beyond time, space, everything else that we've ever known.